Good morning, Dr. Crow. Um, happy Fourth of July weekend. Uh, this is my creativity journal, and I'm kind of doing it this way so you can see my entries, and then I'll switch it around so that you can uh, see my face at the end here, and <clears throat> I kind of finish out the video. Uh, I hope this one works. This is probably the fifth or sixth time I've done this because I really want to get it right and be able to put into words my uh, my entries for you so you can understand where I'm coming from. I've uh, attempted to try to try to do entries similar to the topics we're di discussing in our books and our units. So I started with a music lyric, uh, and it was one that I included in my activity actually, and it's by Led Zeppelin, and it says, standing on the hill of my mountain of dreams, telling myself it's not as hard as it seems. So what I really like about this, this lyric or this excerpt is that <clears throat> I look at the hill as you know, you've, you've already accomplished certain things. You know, you, you've gotten to a certain point in your life where you're happy. And uh, naturally, you don't want to be complacent. You don't want to be stagnant in your, um, in your life. So the mountain is your future or your aspirations or dreams. And uh, the hill is uh, things that you've already accomplished or things that you feel uh, happy about that you've, uh, you've earned or um, completed in your life. So I have my ECU. Uh, sorry for my hand like going like this. It's a little weird doing this, but my ECU graduation, where you can see my diploma, uh, my current happiness, and then I only have really one thing that I can say is mine outside of my TV, and it's my car. Um, but as you can see, there's me standing there looking out, and there's the mountain in front of me. But there's a there's a, I added a um, a road because I really think that even though the mountain's there, there there's a way to get over it. There's a way to um, to reach the top and to go beyond that mountain. Uh, I really like sunset, so I kind of did the the uh, sky in that color because I, I always think of sunsets as there will always be another day, and I, I like to, to live like that, so I, I, I like the idea of having a sunset in there. And as you can see, I signed and dated that one. My next one is, <clears throat> uh, since I'm in a creativity class and I've, I've, uh, I'm starting to attempt to kind of live in the moment and appreciate my surroundings and appreciate the, the things that I have. Um, and this summer I'm, I'm, uh, I'm working at a uh, camp as a camp counselor and I have 40 to 50, uh, 5 to 12 year olds, which is really, <laughs> it's, it's a really great experience and I'm loving it because my background's in education. And you get that feeling of being a teacher and being able to be around the kids and uh, it's really exciting. So anyway, uh, we went to a science museum, a uh, exploration museum, and I'm trying to do new things and live in the moment. And I petted, and I apologize about the uh, grammatical error down at the bottom, but um, I wasn't sure if it was pet or petted, and then I had to Google it and found that it was petted, but I had done it in pen, so I had to go back and just add that in. But anyway, this is a bearded dragon. And when I was at the museum, I touched the bearded dragon and a tarantula and a chinchilla and a snake. Uh, I stayed away from the hissing cockroach, which was four inches long because I, I just couldn't get past that. But I printed one out, and I wanted to draw it to represent the day and my experience of being at the museum. And I um, truly enjoyed it. I truly enjoyed it. So the next few things are... Uh, what you uh, asked us to do in our last Tegrity lecture, Unit 3, as you can see at the top. Um, and these are some books. And, you know, I, I started uh, thinking because, as I said, I, I've done this. <laughs> I've attempted to do this video four or five times. But um, a lot of the books that I've read are very uh, political-based or, or things that um, revolve around different aspects or different views of uh, politics. So you can see Fear and Loathing and uh, Heart of Darkness, which is based off of um, Apocalypse, well, Apocalypse Now is based off of that. Uh, I've read a lot of World War II uh, books, and I really wanted to do that as a young child because I wanted to connect with my grandfather, who I never met, my father's father, and then uh, my mom's dad, and I read a lot of World War II books, and I'm sorry if this is shaking, my hands kind of shake a little bit, but... Um, also, uh, you know, Paddy Whacked, which is, which is uh, about my Irish background and uh, the culture in the United States during, jeez, um, the Revolutionary War and, and uh, you know, Civil War and things like that. So <clears throat> those were uh, most of the books that I read, and I kind of discussed it at the bottom of, you know, why they were interesting at the time. Uh, 
and yeah, I was I really enjoyed that activity because uh, I'm attempting, as as you know, we're doing creativity, and I'm attempting to get into get into the actual class and appreciate it for what it is, and uh, take every opportunity and uh, really work on it as as hard as I can. So that's that. Um, this is one that I had done that, um, again, it goes with the literature, and I've read everything that Hunter S. Thompson did, every uh, gonzo journalism, even just articles, and uh, Fear and Loathing, I've, I've probably seen the movie in Las Vegas, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and I've read the book I, I, countless times, and I always kind of liked the way that um, he portrayed politics and the way that he looked at it and how uh, the American dream has changed. Well, naturally, he doesn't believe that the American dream exists anymore, but I've always kind of taken away from it that it still exists. It's just uh, you've got to have a different perception of what the American dream is. And I've always loved the movies and the books, and I wanted to do that along with my literature uh, as we moved into our next unit, and I wanted to add that because it was a it was literature that really changed my perception of life and my outlook on the country and politics. So, yeah, that's why I did that one. Uh, the next one is um, the writing uh, assignment that, again, we did in the Integrity Lecture, and um, I kind of did a poem, and I'm not sure why. I don't really know. Uh, naturally, I'll read it to you, but I, it, it was just... I just started writing. When you asked us to start writing, I started writing, and, and uh, it says, One step forward, two thoughts backwards. If we reach our goals, our dreams come true. Will it be the spectacular event we imagined? Onward and onward, our mind constructs our thoughts. Does our environment, our culture, allow our dreams to be fulfilled? Money equals happiness. I don't feel happy with the, re the results. Why does life persist to exist when so many don't have it? Will thought, recognition, love prevail, or are we destined for this continuance. At the bottom it says, I enjoy writing, but am so self-conscious, I'm never sure it's any good. I uh, suppose this is relevant in my writing because I question myself. So I, I think that as you read, uh, look at the poem, it's, it's kind of asking if the decisions that you make are right, and again, it goes back to that American dream of, you know, are we the ones that are creating our own dreams, or are we being influenced by our environment, our government, our culture, and uh, I don't know, it was just, it was, uh, again, I just started writing and this is what I came up with. At the end, I wasn't sure of everything that I wrote, but uh, I think that the idea behind the activity was to just kind of start writing and then see what adds up at the end and kind of reflect back, so I really enjoyed it, and it's the first time I've wrote poetry in, oh, geez, uh, <laughs> maybe 12 years. So it was fun. It was very fun. And my last one I did today was a picture of the fourth and fireworks, but then the words inside, um, you know, I'm not sure, you know, you think about the independence and what so many people sacrificed for us to be here. And then, you know, I watched a video yesterday on um, soldiers coming back, and it, it just... You know, I, I think sometimes people forget really what it means and what, what others sacrifice. And people are kind of taken advantage of sometimes by uh, those in a position that can. And some of the words are insecurity, power, limitations. I put power twice, so that must mean something. Uh, being complacent, confusion, dreams, excess, stagnant, money, respect, and then the percentage. Uh, the, the percentage sign is just my representation of money again, uh, how so many people are in debt and so many people take on uh, things that they just cannot can afford in our country encourages that and, and people are in a position to take advantage of that. So those are my entries for the July 5th video. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, I've really, I've really enjoyed doing this. It's, it's, Again, I'm not only trying to be creative, but I'm trying to live in the moment. So I'm looking forward to class next Friday, and have a great afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Crow.